What's up, friend? Welcome back to my channel. This is the third video that I'm doing in my series of my top manifestation techniques. And this one is a little bit different than the other two. This one requires a little bit more explanation. It's a little bit deeper of a dive, if you will, because this video is all about the concept of living in the end. And I feel like for me, it's really hard to truly understand that. It's really hard to truly grasp what that means, especially when you're manifesting something that could majorly change your life. It's like, okay, well, how do I live in the end? That's so different. That's what we're gonna talk about today. And as per usual, everything is timestamped in the description below. You can skip them around, you can go back, do what you gotta do, kinda like see what's up down there. And before we go any further, just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I have a whole playlist on manifesting and my techniques, how I've manifested my specific person, how I've manifested the house that I live in, and so much more. So definitely subscribe, check out that playlist. I always wanna say let's get into it, but I wanna give my disclaimer that I gave in my other two videos just very, very quickly. At the end of the day, all you need to do to manifest is genuinely believe that you deserve what you want and live as if you already have it. Everything on my channel is about maintaining your mental diet, if you're lost and you don't know where to start, that kind of thing. I'm not saying by any means that these three videos hold the keys to manifesting and you can only do these three things or else you're screwed. That's not what I'm saying, okay? This is for those of you who are in need of a little bit of direction and kind of want a deeper, bigger explanation of these techniques and methods. It doesn't mean that this is the end all be all. Manifesting is very, very personal. So I treat it as such, the way that you manifest best is gonna be different than the way that I manifest best and so on and so forth with everyone else on planet Earth. But this is just a guide to help get you started. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the point. What the hell is living in the end? Fair question. Living in the end, in short, is living in the version of yourself where the thing that you're trying to manifest has already happened. So if you're manifesting money, living in the end means moving and shaking like someone who has money. If you're manifesting a relationship, it means moving and shaking like someone who's got a man, okay? And like I kind of mentioned, this can be a little bit difficult to do when your current reality is so far from what you're manifesting, but that's what this video is all about. We're gonna help you, okay? We're gonna move past that challenge and we're gonna realize that living in the end actually is quite simple. The first point, moving from a state of lack is keeping you from getting what you want. I see this all the time online, even in my DMs sometimes, people are moving towards their manifestations with a lot of desperate energy. And desperate energy can look a lot like maintaining your mental diet, so you gotta be careful. It's all about the intention behind the moves that you're making. And it's all about the mindset in which you're coming from in the first place. So this can look like compulsively writing affirmations in your notebook about financial freedom because you live with your parents and you wanna get the hell out of there as soon as possible and you just can't freaking take it anymore. So you're just writing affirmations for hours every day like, oh my God, I'm out of my house. I'm out of here. I'm financially free. I can make it past this. Desperate energy, okay? This can also look like watching endless TikToks on how to get someone to text you back because you texted this guy two days ago and he hasn't replied yet. Desperate energy. <laughs> you're spiraling and that's okay. We're just gonna flip that around a little bit. The difference between maintaining your mental diet and moving with desperate energy can be figured out with one simple question. Would I be doing this if I already had the thing that I'm manifesting? Would I be approaching things this way if I already had it? So going back to the text example, if you already had your specific person and they were in love with you and you guys were in a happy relationship, you wouldn't be freaking out if they didn't text you back right away. If you weren't moving from a place of lack and desperation, you wouldn't be desperately writing in your journal about leaving your parents' house and being financially free because you know that it's coming. So what's the point? What's the stress? I know that it's coming. Whatever, I wrote it down and it's gonna happen and that's great. When it comes to manifesting, you need to move like you're online shopping. Okay, stick with me here. When you're manifesting, that is you clicking the place order button. Think about it, once you place an order online, you know that it's gonna come. You don't place the order and then immediately go back and place another one like just in case it doesn't happen, I just wanna place this extra order, I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna come. We know it's coming. We know the order is on its way. And you might have an estimate of when it's coming, but you don't know the exact second of when the UPS guy is gonna pull up. 
All you know is that it's gonna get there. Your manifestations are the exact same way. There's no need to place additional orders. There's no need to spend all day looking out your window, just watching all the cars pass by, waiting for one of them to be a FedEx truck. Although, I have done that before. Anyway, my point is that there's no need to be desperate. It's coming. So keep that in mind. In order to live in the end, you cannot be coming from a place of lack and desperation. You have to be coming from a place of understanding that it's already yours. I already placed the order. The shoes are mine. FedEx will deliver them at some point. I know that they're getting here and they're gonna look fly as f The second point I wanna make is that your language impacts the way you manifest. Even if your mindset's right and you're coming from the right place, your language needs to match. I personally, from my experience, don't think that the universe does sarcasm. <laughs> but universe aside, the world around you needs to see your intention. And I will give you the perfect example as to why. I see this a lot in LA when you meet someone and immediately they're just like, Hi, I'm Bria. I'm an actress. I'm a model. I'm an influencer. I'm a sewer. Sewer? Seamstress. I'm a seamstress. I'm a baker. Like they just keep listing out all the stuff that they're doing. And you're like, okay, cool. And you're almost like taken aback because they come in a little bit too hot. But what I've actually learned from Will is that people in LA do that a lot because they never know who they're meeting. They never know if the person they're meeting knows someone who is casting for a commercial where they need a model who knows how to sew. And what's more, they're not saying, Hi, I'm Bria, I'm an aspiring actress. Hi, I'm Bria, I'm trying to learn how to sew right now. Hi, I'm Bria, I'm figuring out what I wanna do. I, I don't know, I wanna be a model, but like I haven't really started yet. They're not saying that. They're saying, I am a model, I am an actress, I do this. They claim their title and they own it because who the hell wants to hire someone who doesn't even believe in themselves? When you speak in a way that shows that you believe in yourself, it leads other people to believe in you too. But on an even more basic level than that, People don't know who you are and what you're into until you tell them. Don't say things like, if I get this job, I'll move to LA and I'll be able to do all of this. Say, when I get this job and I move to LA, I'll be able to do all of this. Stand in your truth. Don't be unsure, be direct. And once you talk the talk, be ready to walk the walk, which is my next point. Walk in the walk, ah yes. Arguably the most important piece of the puzzle. Your mindset, your language, your movements, they're all tied to this concept of living in the end. You're coming from a mindset of abundance and not lack. You're speaking your truth to the universe. You're not belittling yourself or your goals. And you're making intentional moves that one would make in the end. So how do you live in the end through your actions? Honestly, it's so easy just act like you already have it. And this looks different for everybody. Visualizing yourself in the end can kind of help you paint that picture of how you would move. So let's say you're starting a business. I want you to visualize yourself as a successful business owner. Visualize yourself like you own Target. And what does Target do? Personally, I see their ads constantly. I think I really am deep into their Target demographic. No pun intended. Okay. They have a highly recognizable logo. They offer things that people need and they feed into this perception that people have of Target where like you go in for one thing and you leave with $300 worth of stuff. They totally feed into that in the way that they design their stores and the way they have everything set up and the way they market. I think that's why there's a Starbucks in every Target now because you have no reason to leave. Like, okay, I'm thirsty, let me get a Starbucks. I want a little treat, let me walk around the aisles with my little Rice Krispie treat. Like that's why the Starbucks is there, okay? Target knows what it is and it stands in that truth. And if you're trying to start a business, you gotta move the same way. Visualize yourself as a model. What do full-time successful models do? They put themselves out there. They're going to castings. They're networking. They're giving it their all. They're doing test shoots on the regular to get their practice in. If you wanna be a model, you gotta move like that. Visualize yourself as someone with a lot of money. If you wanna be a billionaire, envision your life as if you were a billionaire. I don't know any billionaires, but my guess is that their house is always clean. They eat the best, healthiest foods. They don't worry about buying the latest Gucci belt or covering themselves from head to toe in labels because they probably don't really give a shit about that kind of stuff and they don't have anything to prove to anyone. They don't constantly worry about money. Living in the end when you're manifesting money does not mean, oh well, if I had a bunch of money, I would live in the end by spending a bunch of it and just racking up my credit card because like I have money, who cares? That's not what I'm talking about, okay? It's about 
your mindset that you're moving from. It's not about the paper. It's not about the physical thing that you have. It's about your attachment or lack thereof to that thing. Does that make sense? So we're not living in the end by spending money we don't have yet and putting ourselves into credit card debt. We're living in the end by thinking like a billionaire. And what do billionaires think about? Honestly, not sure, but it's probably not how they're gonna pay next month's bill, right? They don't sit around worrying about how they're gonna pay for their Netflix subscription, especially since they're raising the price, which I think is really sad and disturbing. Living in the end means against all other information that surrounds you, against all facets of your current reality, owning it, owning that end, owning what you want moving like you got it, speaking about it as if it's real because it is real. It may not be happening in this current timeline, in this current second, but it is part of your story and it is going to happen. It is happening in the greater scheme of things. The universe is already at work. Things are already fitting together. The puzzle is being put together. Things are already in motion. Your current reality is just behind and needs to catch up but the wheels are turning. And if you keep up with those wheels and if you're caught up, your reality will catch up too. I think the most important thing to do when it comes to living in the end and maintaining your mental diet in that way is just that understanding that the thing that you're manifesting is inevitable. Nothing will stop it. Nothing on this earth can hinder what is meant for you. And when you live in that knowledge and in that understanding, you give way less of a shit when your reality doesn't match up to what you're manifesting because it's like the package is already in the warehouse being packaged. It's already in the back of the FedEx truck. It's on the way. Like, what do I care how it gets there? That's what it's all about. Your online shopping. Never forget the online shopping. I hope this video helps you manifest everything that you want in life. I am so freaking excited for everything that all of us are manifesting. Honestly, we are the baddest. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what else you want me to make videos about. I can talk about manifesting all day and I do and I plan to on this channel. So definitely comment, like this video if you wanna see more videos about manifesting and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on what I post next. I will see you in my video next weekend. Happy manifesting.